Alright folks, let's begin, or return to Burley Manor City. Okay, so it does pick up just where we left off. I was a little concerned that, uh, because it only seemed to have like cloud saving here, that you couldn't just pick up where you were. But uh, if you watched the last episode, I know it was rather long, I uh, had been, I picked the game up late at night, so I was just sort of trying it out for the first time, and found it really kind of cute. The um, whimsy of the game reminds me a lot of um, Untitled Goose Game, which was out on the Switch a few uh, years back now. Um, but if you saw the last thing, then you know that uh, we were attacked by sea monsters, we drowned in the ocean, or so it seemed, and then we walked along the ocean floor until we found a door which brought us back into the same building with the old man barista that we uh, started with. Uh, so now he's saying he thought he'd find a way to that door eventually. Familiar has a way of making itself new when you look at it sideways. Never seen that part of the island before, I'd bet. The men shake their heads. Still have the map, he questions. Steady beard nods, silently passing it to him. Okay, so now this is the first time I've had the map open since I played last. So, before we only had the mountains in the middle, the little anchor icon in the lower right, and the wheel for controlling the ship up in the upper left. So all of those other icons are achievements that we got in the last video. I see you managed to find those adventurous deeds, and did you meet her? Aye, Bravebeard is first of the bunch to speak. Magnificent, magnificent she was, like the, <laughs> like the yarm of old tales. But she told us we've more to see. I, it'll be there when you're ready for another go, the old man gestures to the books. Those shelves are full of tales like yours, and all with paths left untold. There's a twinkle in his eye. I even contributed a few in my time. You see, he continues, what's left unwritten in one story can fill others. If you've the inclination to sail again, have another look at the shelf. So I sort of stopped last when we walked through that door, but I didn't realize it was going to totally restart in sequence after that. Otherwise, I would have started the episode here. This seems to be the end. Well, I guess given that, we can just... Let's see here. Not swap six. Let's. Ooh, that's not what we want. I guess. You zoom, it is. But I can't press. Um, I can't press any buttons to skip past this. Uh, this but I imagine it's not that long, given. This game was very simple. <laughs> I do also really appreciate that a lot of these sound effects and this are in acapella rather than played on an instrument. I think it's really good. Okay. There's the bottle, and looks like we're just back in the village. So, do we restart over completely? Let's find out. Let's find this guy. I 
don't remember there being an egg with the chicken before. Huh, cute. Doesn't seem I'm allowed to interact with anything this time. Other than the egg. Now, of course, I could just go back on the boat and go back out to sea, but I kind of want to have a look around. <laughs> you can actually eat the bread. Um, the controls for this are also a little weird. You only have, like, the ability to lean left or right, and it influences the screen. So glad to see you boys back in town. We'll read some grinning. You wouldn't be way long, and your boat showed up without you. She turns back to her work. Tidied her up a bit, this Smith and I. I think you'll find her seaworthy, if you have any further mysteries on hand. Okay, so they just fixed my boat. Cool. One thing I do not like is that the um, color of the game makes it kind of hard to see the doors uh, as you're trying to leave. Uh, in the first episode, you might have noticed I stayed in the first building I went into for longer than probably was necessary, but that was because I, the door blends in so well I just didn't realize I could leave. Touch these. God, such sensitive controls. Okay, this guy's here. He didn't really speak to us much last time. Let's see. left on my left stick until these people actually move and then I can take the door. If I try to do it in the same motion, the the only control I have is the stick. Uh, so it doesn't quite work the way that like. So I need to hold left like this to move over, but I actually want to move a little bit right to get to the ship. So there we go. Try to do it all in one motion. She's come back to us, exclaims Hasty Weed, and more lovely than we left her. Courtesy of Barnacle Transport Service Inc., read Steady Beard from under the sun side. Why that great blueberry bellyache did us a good deed. It seems we just begin again. But it makes sense that there's no gap in this sort of game. I do like the uh, sort of scrolling and silly looking. Solo by the way. That's where we picked up before. Speaking of the whale, actually this is uh, part of what drew me to the game to begin with is that uh, this summer, while I'm on break, I have been reading uh, Moby Dick for the first time. Um, and I've really been enjoying it quite a bit, actually. But that sort of fascination with sea life and adventuring on a whaling vessel sort of bled out into my purchases. When I was looking at play the PlayStation Store and saw that this game was there, I was drawn to it as a sort of goofy little seafaring adventure. But this looks... It looks like the dialogue is all a little different than last time, because before they just said, like, you're in the whale. Great One journeys this way daily, so that through him all may one day find the place of promise. Predictably, the nymphs trade nods of approval. Okay. Will you wait with us here by the fire, or is it the way of the faithless you seek? I've clicked on the nymphs because I assumed that that would allow me to wait, and it seems that is the case. Last time, I tried to leave, and there wasn't really anywhere for me to go except out the blowhole. Although that was fun, we did drown, so... Hmm. 
within the Great One, there is only to be Great One encircles us in the circle of all things. The Great One's kindness is as genetically modified potatoes. The men begin to nod off, now catching only pieces of the nonsensical exchange as they fall into a deep sleep. Biodiversity. Okay. Final stop. Please exit through the front with your belongings. Okay, trophy, trophy earned the path of waiting. So I ju guess you just had to wait in the rail and see what happens. And now I get to continue outward from the whale craft intact. Those long-haired imps let us leap through our stop, complains Hasty Beard as they sail out into the sunlight. Brave Beard merely shudders. May as well see where it is we have stopped anyway. think that that thing looked unnatural. Great lump and land rats, exclaims Bravebeard, edging away. Stop. The voice is deep and aged as the earth itself. Men and rocks stand staring at one another. A few moments pass before the creature speaks again. You are small. Something about the naivety of this statement seems to ease the men. You're rather large yourself, tries Bravebeard, hesitant. Thank you, rumbles the small mountain, simply. Would you like a flower? I am quite good at the flowers. But we don't want to be a flower, if you can say Stevie. In fact, but the creature is already turning around. Well, of course we want the flower. That's nonsense. Of course we want to have the flower. Or maybe I will fetch three. Rumbling happily to itself, the geological oddity thunders away. The men breathe sighs of relief. Uh, I kind of want to know where it went. I'm going to go back to the left, even though we know that there's not a whole lot of stuff over there. I mean, if it lumbered off into the sea and that's all that happens, then that's all that happens. I have done it. I have fetched a flower. And then turn reluctantly from the enticing safety of their boat to face the returning earthquake. Oh my gosh. I kind of expected it to be a tree. Gently, the massive stone fist places before them what appears to be an upended tree. Why, thank you, gushes hasty beard, elbowing the snickering gray beard. What a nice flower, the big creature beams. The creature's shoulders slump, dejected. It is wilted. You know, I think I saw another on the far end of the island, suggests Steady Beard. Why don't you go? I will fetch it. Brightening, the mountainous being turns once more to thunder away. This goofy music is perfect for this creature. Or maybe three. Hasty Beard calls after him, grinning. All right, quick, while we have a chance, he adds in a whisper, leading the way to the boat. Okay, let's get back in the boat and get away from the monster on the island. Okay, that appears to be the game plan. Oh boy, I kind of expected him to just drop the tree directly on the boat. Well, it seems we've navigated one peril. Quite good at flowers, I would say. I don't actually know how many trophies this game has. It is the sort of game where you could easily platinum it, I imagine. The goal, of course, is to find all the little things. Um, you seem to... Okay, I have control again. 
I can't go right. I don't like the looks nor sound of that, Rory steady beard over the distant rumble. Rather be fetching flowers with that walking rock pile on dry ground. Oof, rain. Uncue a shower of rain tumbles over them. The suffering squid livers, howls hasty beard. Will be sunk! They bail furiously, but the downpour is relentless. Through the eerie gray, they seem to hear the faint keening of a wordless song. Okay, fantastic. It seems we'll be able to keep moving with the protection of these mysterious sirens. Ooh. A flash of lightning suddenly illuminates their surroundings. Women folk, yells Braveheart. There are women folk in the water. His shout is followed closely by a splash as Hasty Beard jumps in. Comical. All right. Of all the kelp-headed half-wits, a second splash halts Stinny Beard's analysis of the situation. <sighs> Sighing deeply, he dives after them. <laughs> Finding the dark water empty, the men quickly regret their course of action. Ah, no, we're swimming again. Looks like this might be the end of it. Women folk in the water. <laughs> Can we get to the surface this time, though, without drowning? Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh, boy. Sets. That's fair enough, though. This has gone on for probably 15 to 20 minutes now, so probably a, getting to a good point to cap off the next episode of our adventures with the Burly Mad Sea. We meet again, bearded travelers. Sought new paths this day, she smiles. The men nod, unnecessarily. Yet still others lie untrodden behind you, her gaze is deep, searching. It is well for you to bear the look of those who would seek them. May we meet again at the end of another path. Inclining her glimmering head in farewell, the creature slips silently away into darkness. the ground again I wonder okay last time I just went back up because I assumed yeah so right now I'm actually holding my stick to the left but it seems that right is the only way to go as that takes you back to the door in the coffee shop on the pier and I guess once we get through that door that's where I'll stop the episode and we'll pick up again in episode 3 although I will say I do wish that rather than sauntering up like this every time, there was just a like white screen that says like like this that just says the three men wandered back up into the coffee shop as they had done before. Oh, unless it's different every time, where are we this time? Perhaps I've been too hasty. Oh wait, no, 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 this is uh, what happened before we ended up on the island with the puffins and the moose, which I thought was cool, especially as someone who lives in Maine. A little acapella flying is pretty good. There it is. 
guess that's where we end. Until next time.